Is that pretty much a, a linebacker's dream when you see a ball bouncing around that you can pick up and take to the house? <laughs> uh, no question, you know. It uh, doesn't get much better than that, so that's about as it will capitalize on that one. How much nerves hit when that ball's bouncing though? You got you to make sure you snatch it. Oh yeah, you got to make sure you can get down there and scoop it up and don't fall over your feet. So <laughs> a little of that may go in the back of your head, but you just, you just got to go, can't think about it. Coach said he tried to make it feel a little bit like an actual game day in terms of travel and warm. Did it feel that way today before the scrimmage? Yeah, yeah, I think he did a great job of doing that. Staying at higher ground last night and coming here like we're on the bus to the game, getting your mind right and coming out here and in this stadium where we know we're going to have a lot of big moments this season. So it was a great, great experience. It's got to be tough splitting time but with Deshaun, but did that really play a factor in keeping you too fresh all the way through the season? Because you combined for almost 160 tackles between you, which is crazy. Yeah, most definitely. I think that I mean, it worked out really well for us last season. I mean, we'd be able to rotate every other series or a series gets long. We can sub in and out for each other. And just when you have fresh legs in there, you're able to make some plays that you may not have the extra own for, you know, when you've been in there for eight plays in a row. So I think that worked out real well for us. Guys tackle today. There's a lot of plays. Don't necessarily do that all that often anymore. Mm -hmm. How did that help you at this stage of the game? I think it's good just to... You know, we're going thud tempo all of, during camp and to make it feel like the real thing. So you know how to drive for five and run through a tackle and feel good sometimes. You feel like the defense has a little bit of an edge over the offense in the first week or so? Uh, I don't know if I'd call it an edge, you know. Uh, defense is playing good. Offense makes plays too. They've caught some stuff on us in the corner of the end zones or break around here and there. So. I think it's been a pretty good battle in between, a lot of good on good. Could you just talk uh, your relationship with the guys in the locker room and that linebacker room, especially bringing in a guy like Ivan, what does that do for this uh, linebacker room? Yeah, I think it, it does nothing but lift us up even more. You know, we got a bunch of great guys in there and a bunch of guys that are going to be able to play and rotate in this season, I believe. So adding him is just only bettering us. I want nice to have somebody kind of bully Deshaun a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have keep him, someone to keep him in check sometimes, you know. How much improvement has, have you seen from Jaheim? I know he's ready for his you know, his opportunity as he's, he's waiting his turn. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's grown. He watched behind Beavers, and I think all of us linebackers were able to see from those two guys last year that, that went on. Um, we learned a lot from him, and we've been able to take steps forward from that. There's been a lot of guys that have made that jump that we, Beavers made, that DeBlanco made last year. Is that you put that upon yourself to, you know, it's, it's my time to make that big jump and turn myself into an NFL type guy? I mean, one can only hope, you know, you, you can only work your butt off at practice and do everything you can do. And if the stars align, the stars align. That'd be, I mean, that should truly be amazing. But, you know, I'm just focused on this year and what I can do for this team. Thanks, Ty. Thanks, Ty. Thanks, Ty.